hey guys, this is Fimray91, and I'm talking about next-gen consoles. More specifically, what I think what I think the cost of games will be. Now, I was watching Inside Gaming's video, and they were talking about whether the cost of games will go up to 70 bucks. And that's a concept that it's weird that we don't even think about that anymore. Back when Xbox 360 and them were moving up to Xbox One, I believe people were like, are they gonna cost 70 bucks? Because from the sixth gen to the seventh gen, there was a price increase for everyone except for the Wii. They went from 50 bucks per game to 60 bucks per game. And that most likely was because obviously with all the upgrading graphics were much more expensive to make than they were in the sixth generation. And we know that games have been getting more and more expensive as time goes on. So it only makes sense that they would go up in price, right? Well, not exactly. See, Inside Gaming was also talking about Fortnite and stuff like that and games who obviously make money other ways than actually just charging you for the game. So yes, I do think with the power that the next gen consoles are going to bring that the games themselves will take more money to make, but I don't see them upping in price. Now, why is that? Well, because let's face it, they found ways to get more than 60 bucks out of you for a game. Look at even GTA 5. GTA 5, yes, GTA 5 was 60 bucks when it first came out and it all the DLC was like free and if I recall, all the updates online, everything was free and that was greatness. But where did they find ways to make more money? Oh, with the actual in-game currency. You could actually buy those like cards, which gave you like $10 million in-game, I think, and you bought it with like real money. So that's the new market. Let's face it. Game companies have found much more effective ways to make money than simply charging more for the game. And they probably do make a lot more money than simply rising each game by 10 bucks. I know that Rich of Review Tech USA, he is for games rising even to like $80 if it means no more microtransactions. I am so against that because I think it's unfair. I think it's unfair to ask people who don't care about all the extra stuff to pay an extra 20 bucks just so that people who do care about it can play it. I mean, I just don't personally think that's fair because to me, it's more fair this way with microtransactions, with DLC. It's just more fair because certain people just want to play the base game. They don't want to buy the DLC and it gives people more options. Yes, companies have been going overboard with it, plenty of companies, EA, <clears throat> but it's at this point, I think that's the more fair and the cheaper way to actually go things for many gamers, because raising the price of the game itself, you limit your consumer base, it is, because we won't be able to buy as many games, you won't be able to make as much money, but actually keeping the game price the same, people will be able to buy the games, and even if certain people, and let's face it, certain people will buy the microtransactions, certain people probably won't. So I still think the companies stand to make more money and it's probably still a little bit more consumer friendly in my opinion not to raise the price of the games but instead just to continue what they've been doing so far with the whole microtransactions and DLC and everything. Basically finding other ways to make more than $60 on the purchase with some consumers. But what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think they're going to raise the price $70? And are you guys thinking like Review Tech USA where he was like he'd rather the games to be more expensive if it meant that there would be no more microtransactions? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.